Copyrighted music at first. See, so what it is is people are online like Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere else they get they, to listen to it. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, cool so yeah. only on YouTube we yeah. gotta cut the music out. So listen to the podcast too, man. It be everywhere. <laughs> um, the podcast do be everywhere. So yeah. nah, man. Uh, um, we are missing our member, uh, mm-hmm. Steve. Steve is uh having some um stuff going on right now. So we gonna you know send send prayers to his way, man. So he wasn't able to make this episode, but we are gonna keep on rolling the rock and trying to get these podcasts out. Show uh, consistently to you guys, man. So uh, thank y'all for supporting. Make sure y'all mm-hmm. go send prayers to him. Follow him on social media and everything else. And all his, um, him and Uniquely Weird, his wife, they're doing dope on YouTube. So mm-hmm. make sure y'all go check out their videos as well. But well, what's going down, everybody, man? Hopefully uh, everyone had a, a pretty uh, pretty good week. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, we, we try to hope for the best for everyone. Always aim for it. We we aim for it, but sometimes, you know, you see some tomfoolery and you see some stuff where you be like, ah, uh, all right. But Humans. you know what was great this weekend? Seeing them cowboys. Oh, lose. man. It was a good feeling, bro. That would, that, it's like the cowboys lose and brings us all together. It does, bro. When you think about it, man, like different, different sports, uh, Moguls from different areas, bro. I'm talking about different teams. We all kind of get together and we enjoy. We all in and this embrace together. Of the Cowboys losing. <laughs> it's a good feeling. It was a, it was a fantastic feeling, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm sorry to all you Cowboy fans. I'm not sorry. I'm not. Sorry. I don't care. Anywho, and for you Houston Texans fans or Cowboys fans that used to be Texans fans, but jump to the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, man. I really watch out for y'all. Yeah, man. Y'all, just disgusting. If you can do that, you can steal something right from under me while I'm sitting there. Facts, bro. So, so I don't trust uh, you. now, now that things are starting to shape up, we got mm-hmm. Cincinnati yep. versus uh, Kansas City and the Eagles uh, versus San Fran. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I think I think Cincinnati may be going back to the Super Bowl, bro. It, 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 it's a toss up, but I don't know, Joe Cool. He 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 in his bag right now. I'm not I'm not counting Mahomes out. Of course, Mahomes, Mahomes is my guy. You know, of what I'm course. Saying? And people talk a lot of trash. I was seeing something online actually about um, they're apparently calling uh, Arrowhead Burrowhead because he, <laughs> I mean, he three and zero against them and all is. that. Uh, I mean, that's cool. You know, they got some quarterbacks that's undefeated against Tom too. But True. Tom's still that dude. You know, yeah. and Mahomes is one and zero in the uh, Super Bowl. What is Joe? You should, he won it all? Yeah. I thought they went to the Super Bowl twice. No, nah, once. They only went once? Yep. They only oh, went to the divisional round. Oh, yeah. But in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Oh, uh, yeah, you remember right. Remember they yeah. had to play the, uh, I want to say they had to play the Patriots to get in, and then they got knocked out that way. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. I, thought they, I thought they went to the Super Bowl twice. Uh, I mean, Gotta granted. Put some respect. I mean, this is true, but once again, Joe's been, he recently was the reason why they didn't go last time, so. You know what I'm no, saying? No, that's true. And it's one of those type of things where I do think it's going to be a good game. Um, but I, I'm going with Cincinnati, Cincinnati getting a dub on that one. Now, when it comes to the Eagles and San Fran, I'm going with the Eagles, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the Eagles are going back. And if if they do go back, say, for example, I feel like if they go back, I could see them being the favorites to win it all because they just had a, a really good season. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. Yeah, Once nah, a Houstonian, Houston, of, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, Houstonian. Rip so it, rip always, it. always looking, you know, to rip, show love and support to someone that's from Houston. But at the same time, it's crazy how he's turned this game around and the way he's elevated the team or whatnot. Yeah. It's, it's crazy to see that growth, you know, because yeah. a lot of people were kind of writing him off last season. Like, I don't know if he's – He's the guy to, you know, really they always to hand the franchise over. But he said, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take the franchise. You ain't got to hand it over. And that's exactly what he's doing. So it's, it's, I'm, I'm happy to see that. Uh, it, once again, both of these games can go either way. I'm yeah. just here to be entertained and watch a good game. That's all I really care about. So. Yeah, at the end of the day, I don't I don't mind. Like, I was good with either one of the teams that won. After the, the Cowboys, Cowboys got yeah, knocked yeah, out, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter who win at this point. Yeah, yeah. It's just gonna, I just want it to be a good game at this point. Mm-hmm. At this point, I don't want no blowouts. I want it to be like we a down good to the game. wire. Yeah. It's just a great watch. Something you know that I can be like, damn, I remember. Like, I forget, I forgot what game. It was the Eli... 
uh, in the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember calling you Giants and the uh, Patriots mm-hmm. when they was playing in Arizona, and oh, uh, what's his name? Had caught that amazing catch oh, off yeah, the yeah. hill, man. I remember talking to you on the phone, and we was going crazy. Because I think your your internet, your TV was a little yeah, bit ahead of mine. Yeah. And when he threw it, I was just like, yeah. And then I just heard you freaking out on the phone. I'm like, bro, what happened? Yeah. Shut up. And then I saw it, and I was like, yo, no, he didn't just catch that on his head. Mm-hmm. And then... Completed, mm-hmm. held it, and then that was the season they went nineteen. Uh, it was like eighteen yeah, and zero. It was an eighteen they, and zero, bro. They went undefeated and they couldn't win the last game, bro. Damn you, Eli. That that that's the one Tom always says he would trade in a couple of his Super Bowl wins for yeah, that one because that, that's that's the perfect season. A couple of those rings is for the kicker. Vinatieri won a couple of them rings. I give him, I give Vinatieri two, <laughs> two of them give rings, two. Two, two, three. And then the rings. other one for Seattle, Seattle just gave yeah, that Seattle. One. I, so I remember watching that live. Like I, I couldn't believe three or four what, possible rings. What I, what I saw, but either way, man, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, man, this is this has been a very interesting football season it for has, sure. Bro. So I just want good games, man. I don't want no, you know, no blowouts. I don't want nobody just. Going in there, tearing somebody up, forty-two mm-hmm. zero. Uh, I wanted to be just like how it would be if you know, you know, uh, Tom and Eli was going at it, or hell, even Tom and uh, Peyton. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, them games is always going to well, come down to the wire. We, I think we can get that. We got some great quarterbacks in uh, in the playoffs. Even though Brock Purdy is, you know, he's a rookie, he's still mm-hmm. showing, you know, some pretty good poise and composure considering <laughs> he's out there in uh, in the NFC Championship game now. He, he were awesome. He, he, he around something though. Yeah, he, he so got some. He, he got, got some, some good pieces. Hitters yeah. around him, so that's so. gonna be tough to see as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. I would like to see a Kelsey versus Kittle. Mm. You that, know that would be good. That would be kind that of would, fire. That would be good. That would be. I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. That would definitely be something interesting. But we will see what happens next week, and then uh, we'll give our commentary on that next oh, yeah. week going into the Super Bowl. But so. hey. All in all, Cowboys at home. So. Yeah, that's all that matters. Really, that's that's all you care about. Um, all right, at this point. So, um, I don't know if you know, or it's, it's maybe you probably do know, but uh, Beyonce recently did like a uh, a couple shows, I believe, in Dubai or whatnot. And but I'm first, M's. first, and first, there's a meme about this whole Dubai thing. So apparently, Asian doll, um, uh, rapper, um, she made a tweet. And it's funny. She made a tweet saying, yo, I just got booked for a show in Doobie. She mm. misspelled Dubai. Oh. Yeah. So everybody has been running with that meme. So when they announced that uh, Beyonce had like a private show that she did in Dubai, people commenting like, you mean Doobie? Bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. You know, I ain't never been to Doobie before. So. Yeah, you got to watch that, bro. <laughs> so, How the phone ain't correct that? I don't, well, I'm, she, she probably thought that's how it was spelled. Right. Most people, well, yeah. well let's that's not get into that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll say that for another day because it's, 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 you would think people Touching. would know basic things. But eh. anywho, so she she did a show in Dubai and apparently uh, forever, uh, the show wasn't even that long. It looked very extravagant just from the videos that you, you know, was surfacing on on inter- internet. Cause you know, Beyonce, she going she doing the show, mm-hmm. she flying out somewhere, she gonna give it two hundred percent. That's how she Incredibly is as a performer. Um, apparently, she got paid like twenty four million for like mm-hmm. maybe one show or whatever. Like it wasn't even that long. She wasn't even out there that's that tough. long. That's that's a nice bag. Well, of course. People always gonna find the way to get the negative out of it. So apparently, um, she's getting some type of backlash on Twitter, which once again is not a real place. Uh, she's getting some backlash from the LGBTQ uh, community because, well, you know, over there in Dubai, they they don't really kind of rock with um, people, you know, being gay or lesbian. They don't they don't play that. Like that's okay. That's if, if anything, that's her, damn near kind of illegal. I'm I'm not sure, but I know for a fact they 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 don't rock with that. That's and, a problem, why? And that's what people are having issues with because it's like, well, why is she performing over there, knowing that they have uh anti anti um they're like anti uh, LGBTQ. How does she know? I mean, what does she don't? Wasn't it like a private event? Yeah, it's a private event, right? And and here's the thing: it could be for somebody she know, or you know, granted. 
take that out the context. One is it's her career. It's her bag. If right. she wants to do that, that's her choice. Two, someone made a good point. How about y'all, where's that outrage when she performs in states that are anti LGBTQ and when she does tours? That's true. What, where's the outrage there? And it, it just kind of <clears throat> expounds to what we are now. Like, you can do whatever you want that's best for your career, but someone will find an issue with it. Oh, oh, wait, why is she performing over there? Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like, bro. You're just trying to be offended and hurt by something. Yeah, like, what are you doing to help the cause? Like, this is, I and I, I have to put this out there for people. Hey, Everybody that li- lives in the United States, you know, we're not the only country in the world. People don't follow the same rules we yeah. follow. I just want you to understand that. We've seen it with Brittany Griner. They they don't handle certain stuff the same way we do. So you can't expect someone from another country to abide by what you feel should be correct or mm-hmm. right because they don't. It's a different Country and they don't care about your little they what your feelings are and they all. They don't that give a damn. In most states, I mean, most countries, they like, don't. And some do. You know what I'm saying? Some go even further, I think, than what we do. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know. I just think that's a weird thing to kind of like get mad at her about. Mm-hmm. I mean, we do live in that you know era now where everybody's just trying to be offended by something. I'm mad because you went to make twenty four million. I'm I'm pretty sure majority of those people that were commenting that. We do the same thing in a heartbeat. If they're getting twenty four oh, million for one night of work, I went up you. We was to having that conversation. I read a lot of people's comments um, about what would you do if you somebody was going to give you like five hundred million or something, and mm-hmm. but somebody lost a life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, people was like, hey, I'm sorry, but somebody didn't have to be on the shirt. Oh, like for real? people in the was comments? really saying that. You remember we did that yeah. on the pod too when we asked that question. <laughs> like, bro, people was really saying they were serious. No, they're dead ass. And right. so I'm like. Y'all would do worse for less. Facts. Even though I know that was five hundred million, but bro, one right. million. Yeah, nah. You would come on, bro. Some t- of the people would do. T- you probably pull up to the person funeral. Who died? Right. Who was that again? Damn, bro. Probably pay for it. <laughs> I don't know if that would be technically nice or what. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would be a nice gesture. I mean, nah. Why Depends you paying how you look for at it? it? I mean, that's a nice gesture. Like, hey, bro. I did it. His, his life is gone. But my life is better. <laughs> nah, it's just getting started. Hey, it's time to turn up now, baby. Right, yeah, let's do this. It's time to go go crazy. But that's uh, to expound on what you're talking about. Like people, we we grandstand. We sit up here mm-hmm. and be like, "Oh yeah, um, don't do this. I can never do this. Why would she do this?" But you would do the same thing if you were in that situation. Right. A lot of y'all cap. A lot of y'all crusade for a, a, a <laughs> cause that you know goddamn well if the roles were reversed and you had the opportunity to make that type of money and it may not quote unquote align with your values most of y'all would take it let's just keep let's be one oh, most of y'all would and but why people can't just like let people live like as long as you ain't out here <laughs> yeah with the picket fence and stuff in your hand the picket sign in your yeah. hand and you ain't out here championing for something to be and I don't even know that we don't even know the details of the event. We don't. We, we don't know if somebody she cool with or whatever. I mean, hey. you, you gonna you gonna only be cool with people that have your beliefs. I mean, it don't really matter to me. Make your bag. You Ooh. gotta. I mean, what about people you gotta work with? I'm pretty sure it's people at your job that don't necessarily align with everything that you agree well, with. Probably your boss, but you ain't gonna tell them shit. Right. It's a lot of racist boss out here. I mean, some boss don't give people raises and stuff because mm-hmm. they have a little bit of racism in them or, you know, prejudice. And mm-hmm. It's all kind of stuff, but it's like you can't go out here. And, in order to be able to talk how you want to, you gotta be able to create your own wealth. Mm-hmm. You can't be one of them people that's just talking all day and then, oh, this person gets to do this. And, you know, if, if that's how you think what the world is, Everybody in this world don't agree with everything that everybody else is agree with. Facts. We we live in this imaginary world now where it's like, say everything that's like this and you, you gotta agree and you gotta it's like, bro. Damn that. That's not logical. Hey man, I'm 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 one of those individuals and there's a lot of us out there, you know, it, it may not be seen, but there's a lot of us out there that have that still that old school mindset of, hey, look, yeah, for sure. As long as you don't disrespect me, you know what I'm saying, we don't have to agree. On certain views, you know, you have your opinion, I have my opinion, mm-hmm. and we leave it at that, and we we move on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm not about to sit up here and try to chastise you because you believe a certain thing. You know, right. even if it's stupid, it's asinine. 
hey, do your thing. If you think the motherfucking world is flat, go ahead. Go I, who am I to tell you go that motherfucker ain't? But at the end of the day, don't, you know, that's it where flat. that's where we go our separate ways. And I can let you have your beliefs and you can let me have mine. So but yeah, no. people just have to be right about it is, it is. damn near everything. It's even. flat though, bro. Oh shit. I guess, my nigga. <laughs> Right. If you say so, bro. That's why I hit people with, if you say so, bro. Whatever helps you sleep at night when your flat floats. Yeah. You're about. So, uh, but. Um, That's crazy to me, bro. Hey, uh, get your money, B. 24 M's. Yeah, yeah. Get your money, man. I'm, I'm, well, hopefully right. one day that, that could be something. Hey, man, come, come down here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I'll go to North Korea. <laughs> 24 <M's. laughs> That's cold, bro. I'll be there in that motherfucker. Cool. What's with the camels and everything? Let's, oh, yeah. let's go. My little, you know, shit on my head. Hey, my yeah, man. What's the hookah? What the hookah? What is the real hookah out here? <laughs> yeah, that's that oh, real yeah, I got shit. that real she shit. Yeah, that fucking 20 foot hookah like shit. Well, I'm in it. I'm there. You want to um, feel like what today? We got yeah, all kind of yeah, varieties. Man. I'm, I'm with the shits. Uh, so I don't know if you uh seen recently, uh, I didn't know this was a thing. Matt Barnes was seen spitting on. A uh, fiance's ex husband at a 49ers game. Disrespecting. Yeah, I don't know exactly um, uh, what happened. Was it one happened. of them little or one of them? Little, <laughs> well, I didn't see the video, but it looked like it was one of them like, mean, yeah, yeah, the mean okay. ones. Well, apparently, there's an update to that. The judge grants Matt, uh, Matt Barnes temporary restraining order against the, his uh, fiance's ex husband. So I don't know how that happened, but people in the comments, I, I they're like, they was like, man, he he gonna need that restraining yeah, order. Yeah, that's what me, I'm saying. Yeah, he gonna need that restraining that's order. And I don't know exactly what the tension in his beef is, but I'm gonna be honest with you. That's one of the ultimate signs of disrespect. Like if I got beef with you that bad, we might as well just fight. Because yeah. if you spit on me, it's it's on. All right, bro. Whoop well, shit. All right, man. You go ahead and get that restraining order, my guy. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> It's definitely on. Yeah, that piece of paper not going to save you. I'm going to find you. Oh, yeah. I have a uh, particular set of skills. <laughs> yes. I'm going to find you, bro. But I had to get that, though, because I, I could imagine a call after that. Hey, yo, you want to spit on people, huh? Yeah. I right, bet. Mm-hmm. Just know this. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah, 911. Yeah. I'll pull up to this podcast sweet. set. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, my boss, where you at? I want all the smoke. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I, I don't even like like thinking about what would happen if someone did that to me because I, I think I would just see red, and that's the most dangerous kind that's of thing to see. Because yeah. when you see red, you don't care about who's around. You don't mm-hmm. care about who gets hurt. Your only objective then is to make sure that the person that you see in red foe they get like yeah you, what they deserve yeah like and yeah. He, and sometimes you can go overboard. You know, because mm-hmm. I, I can only... So I ain't spitting, bro. You can't tell nobody how to react, though. Ah, man. Oh, you got to pop the trunk, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's different. I mean, you got to be careful with stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, bro. bro. So, that's like a major form of disrespect to, to somebody, an individual, especially a man. Oh, no, nah, bro. Like, and then you, it was public. Now it's public, so now nah, his bro, ego is probably getting tested. You spit on me, bro. I'm going yeah. to <laughs> you're gonna have to find the address. <laughs> Yeah. I know where you at. What, what your address said? I you pu- you a public figure, so it's you gotta easy come to get seen. Yeah, that's the problem, bro. As a celebrity, I wouldn't be bothering nobody. Yeah, nah, because I'm easily accessible. Like, and I, granted, put, I don't know what the other person did, but I hey, look. Uh, if they ain't put their hands on you, yeah, or I, anybody that you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I I, I read a stay. Once you start spitting, bro, you you just better be ready to fight, <laughs> you or you better audio. better have some security with you. Yeah. You better, yeah. Or that restraining order. Because that was, I mean, yeah, you can have a restraining order, but niggas break that shit all the time. Yeah, so, <laughs> the restra- it's just a people, piece of paper saying, hey, if you do this, you're going to jail. Well, I'm pretty sure prior to the piece of paper being bought into it, my nine times out of ten, you spit on me, I'm probably knowing I'm going to jail. Like, it's the <laughs> you already outcome, accepted this fate. The outcome will be. Oh, fucking assault charges. Get your inmate, <laughs> get your inmate number together, bro. Yeah, you bro. Know. You know that's when you gotta have the bail money ready. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because what's going on? Somebody catching the severe case of the beats, bro. So the, I don't the beats. I don't know what's happening the with beats. that, but yeah, I'm. Hey, I'm. I'm good on the spitting on people, bro, or getting spit on. Some people like the shit. To each his own. Oh, you in a different bag now. I I, I, I I find that just the ultimate. Some dis- people like getting peed on too. <laughs> 
Oh, what's her name? Uh, yeah. Fucking Young Miami. Young Miami, man. Apparently, she's she like the golden showers. Yeah, that's the only thing about when you dealing with somebody. Mm-hmm. Whatever they say in the interview automatically gets traced to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Diddy, Diddy might he, might not even be doing that. Yeah, he but just may because not. they yeah P are Diddy. dealing with each other, it's out there. P. Yeah, and that was just could easy. possibly. But um, that I, sold itself. I P. think Diddy. it goes to the point of. Sometimes, ladies, you can kind of keep stuff to yourself. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I recently just posted on, on my Instagram of a chick. She, I don't know what possessed her to live her truth queen. Uh, but she was basically talking about how for New Year's Eve, she was like, yeah. So I met, linked up with a dude, like a one night stand type of thing. She mm-hmm. didn't know who the person was. Oh, right. uh, She was lit. A whole bunch of brown liquor was sent her way. So you already know. What type of time she was on? They in an Uber, and this was probably the smartest thing they did for New Year's Eve. They got an Uber instead of driving. That I commend. But everything else, it just goes downhill. She Jeez, proceeds terrible. to have she, you know, what I'm saying, get her cheeks clapped in the back of the Uber. The Uber driver like, "Hey, yo, That's what terrible. y'all doing? I ain't even get a chance to do this with my girl." Shout out to the Uber driver for not just kicking him out immediately. So they dropped. He already knew what he was gonna do in the back of his mind. He- so. So he Kick jumps off. off. He jumps off the dude, and then she proceeds to say, "Oh, I'll show." He he proceeds to say, "I'll show you." So he takes her to her. Oh, that's what y'all doing to his crib. I'll really show you how and to get down. And then proceeds to get the cheeks clapped at his crib, and she was like, "Yeah, he got a girl and kids and everything." And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, bro. You didn't have to tell this to nobody. Like, yeah. why would you tell someone you randomly had sex with someone you met that night in the back of an Uber and then the Uber driver proceeds to not take you home, take you to his crib and smack your cheeks even more to prove his point? That's terrible. That was terrible. That and was this terrible. is this is why I say, look, ladies, you want to live your truth? That's fine. Live your truth <laughs> in your in your girl's group chat. You don't have to live your truth. Oh, it go down there. And, and you know what I'm saying, for everyone to see, because at the end of the day, it's like, come on, bro. Like, if I'm a guy and I see a chick, you know, damn, she pretty. And then all of a sudden I see this same chick and stories of her floating around about, you know what I'm saying, her getting piped out in the back of the Uber. <laughs> That's all automatic going one of two things. If it's a nigga that don't care, because I seen some niggas comment like, damn, it should have been me. Where she at? <laughs> so you got you those, always got some type of niggas, and bro. then you got the ones that be like the I want next nigga. Damn, bro! Like, damn, you 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 was looking real pretty until you said that. Yeah, <laughs> and this is one of those things where it's like, why are you working here? It's cool to be whatever you into. It's just you don't. I, we live in that time period where, and I see it a lot more women. Women want to live their truth, and it's like this cool. You know, I feel like some stuff you just keep to yourself. Yeah, like that's that's one of them ones where you got to be like, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna if take I should this tell. with me. Yeah, you know what man. I'm I, yeah, and it's not. And it's not to say you're ashamed of you know having fun. That's cool, but at the same time, yeah, this is, this this is a reach. different level of having fun because the nigga could have kidnapped you. And to the uh, Uber driver, like that could have been a case. That could have. She could have said you did something yeah, to her, or you yeah. know what I'm saying. He took advantage of me. I didn't want to go here. I didn't mm-hmm. want him to come in, and she drunk. Oh hell no, nah, bro. Leave I've, that alone, bro. I've had my situations of potentially like messing oh, yeah? with someone. You stupid. You already okay. know the story. But oh, I've yeah. had my situations of messing with someone, and they was lit, and they was trying to do something, and I was like, nah. I just me being me. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Right. Like, of course, there's mm-hmm. that always that, that other side of on. you, that temptation. Like, damn, she won it. But at the same time, I was like, well, shit, she's super lit, bro. I don't even know she going to remember this. I'd rather just. You want to be remembered. <laughs> yeah, hey, I, look, I need you to know exactly what you was a part of. Yeah, that's mature. So uh, the mature side of me took over. But best believe the other side was like, well, I mean, she throwing it on you. But it's like, she drunk. And, you know, I was like, nah. It had to be another stipulation, too. What you mean? What was wrong? It was something else wrong. No, nah, she was just drunk. That was it, just drunk. Yeah, she was just. She didn't get her feet done, like, didn't get them done that day or something? No, nah, it wasn't that. It was just, she was drunk, and I was like, yeah. Like, I can. Okay, it was, okay, so she wasn't, like, a cute drunk. She was, like, more like a. Oh, no, she was, she, not the, like, the playful cute drunk. It was more of those, like. like kind of turn off drunk. It wouldn't turn off because she was still doing stuff. That I was like, oh, yeah. 
But like I was still like, damn, she Say still all, looked yeah. good, but it's like I knew it wouldn't make sense for me to do that only because it's like I I me personally I feel like I would have been kind of taking advantage of the situation. Were you drunk? Nah, I was sober. Oh yeah, well, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I had a few drinks, but I'm like, I'm aware of what's nah, going on. Nah, if you was as late as she was, like, it was to the point where she couldn't drive her car. But if you was late as she was, then then that's, I'm be honest, I don't know. <laughs> that's the I don't know because if I'm lit and she lit, he would have smashed. He definitely would have smashed. I can't say. I would. I can't say I wouldn't because I don't know. Because no, I don't like to get lit like that when I'm like. I mean, nobody. I mean. Because it's hard for me to focus because at that point, everything's spinning. That's how lit she was. Okay. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. Anytime I that's ever the, get. Let's just lay down. Lit. Yeah, yeah. And hope the room stops. <laughs> Please <laughs> that, make it stop. That's that's how lit she was. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, nah. Hey, fellas, man. You know. Careful with that, man. Try to avoid those type of situations. And ladies, you, you don't have to tell us everything. Just. You know, some things just take it to the grave or put it in your girl's group chat. Like, but that's the thing, bro. That shit's so dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's so many dudes out here. I'm glad these dudes were just about getting it and moving around. But some it's so many not. dudes that's really, you know, they not right in the mind. Mm-hmm. You know, they low-key psycho. So nah. they they wait for women like that to, you know, yep. come in the area, get in the car, just, mm-hmm. you know, give them any kind of play. And then they take advantage of that. Next thing you know, it's a Amber Alert. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... That's just not safe, bro. No. Be very careful with that. Especially, she sounded like she was by herself. Yeah, nah. It, it didn't seem like there was anybody else. Like, it was just yeah, it was just a story of her having a lit New Year's Eve. And it's like, I'm, I'm all down for turning up for New Year's Eve. But, have fun, make, but you know, be, you got to be a little bit more cautious. because uh, Make it to where you see another day, though. Yeah, yeah, stop. yeah, yeah, man. You know, have fun. You got to gotta move different out here. No, nah, I want to have fun today. Is and it? granted... Granted, you know, in our time period of growing up, you know what I'm saying, we heard about those doing some wild shit this yeah, is before yeah, cameras and social media. But once again, that was a different time period. It was it wasn't as wild as, as it is now. So I don't know, bro. I think it was just as wild. Well, I just don't yeah. think it was recorded. Yeah, yeah, you you know what? You're right. They were, you can get away with more. They were doing a lot more shit back then. Like if you was doing something out in New York right now, I wouldn't know that until a certain public, you know, mm-hmm. um, page pick it up mm-hmm. or a blog site or whatever pick it up but there's no way for you to know certain things is going on mm. in certain areas until somebody said something true or they went public on one of those platforms mm. true, other than true, that bro true. they was wilding yeah no, that's why people was having so many damn kids yeah or kids they ain't even know about <laughs> yeah. a kid downtown father was a rolling stone <laughs> he was rolling on well, he laid his head was his home <laughs> and they didn't even talk about it now niggas is getting exposed mm-hmm. see what I'm saying this is it's the same thing. It's just different, different time period. Yeah, you getting exposed for mm-hmm. that. No, you can't just be out here wilding like you want to. Mm-hmm. But you can. You just gotta, you know, deal with face with it. Yeah, yeah, facts. Like Nick Cannon. Like, why blame him? He, he out here. He got money. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with the method. Yeah, of course. Because I mean, keeping up with that many kids, I don't think you can really. That's a lot. In of kids, different right? places. Yeah. I don't think you can really country. be in everybody' life like they probably would need or want. Yeah. Yeah. But the women are letting him do that. So what do you say? At the end of the day, you you know, we fire Nick Cannon up. But at the end of the day, all these women letting him yeah, do nah, that. So can't, can't get mad at it. Just say, hey, bro, as long as you, you know, plan out your 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 <clears throat> months to see each kid. <laughs> Go Which ahead. Which is crazy because now the kids going to get a full-time dad. present dad. They got to share with so many people. That's a lot of birthdays to remember. He, yeah. I'm sure he got to put it in the calendar. Like, and it's not like you in the same state with uh, all of them. Yeah, but yeah. I can. Assume. You just gotta pick them up in this private jet or whatever. Like, hey, come on, kids. Yeah, we gotta go to. Let's get on the cannon jet. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll all go to Disney World together. Gotta rent it and out. And they don't even know each other. Who the fuck is you? Right. Who's you, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> I was the first kid, nigga. I'm cannon one. I'm his favorite. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Let's just. Uh, really, Mariah in the mood. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you've seen recently. Uh, family Guy is getting, of course, some backlash on Twitter. Yeah, uh, Nisha was just telling me. About yeah, that. apparently uh, they did a joke um, about, Nipsey. Ab- about Nipsey Hustle. I think um, what, what's his son? Not not Stewie. Uh, Brian. Uh, 
Brian, that's the. I mean, not Brian. Uh, Chris. Chris, yeah. Ba- basically, yeah, he was about to go to some uh concert. He's like, yeah, we're gonna see a, a a Tupac hologram and a Nipsey Hussle hologram, who I'm now apparently supposed to care about yeah. or whatever. And I, I understood the joke or whatever, yeah, but yeah, people yeah. was trying to be offensive, it yeah. and it was like, bro. This is family guy. This yeah, is they, yeah. this is what they do. Them South Park, they've been doing this for years. You don't nobody's off limits. Yeah. And it wasn't a bad joke because I, I, I understood what they were referencing yeah, to. Yeah, because no, like the popularity of yeah. him as an artist. Yeah, like you know. I, I get it. So it, I, it was one of those things where I, I, I was like, so people are really upset at Family Guy. Mm-hmm. We're talking about Family Guy, bro. We're talking about practice. <laughs> Facts. This is, they don't give a damn. Yeah, so, that's, that's kind of what they do. But yeah. I don't know if people, I don't know, it's like people try to create... If you don't like it, just be like, oh, okay, that was poor taste and move on. I mean, they've done a lot of jokes like mm. that. It's kind of it's kind of tough even for us because, you know, we watch so many of the clips. <laughs> so they go rogue on a lot of things. So if you're going to be mad about that, I think it'll be – I can show you a couple of them that you'll really be like – Yeah, nah, bro. This – they cancel them. Yeah, they they've said some wild stuff, oh, but at the end of time, there. at the end of the day, it's it's it's, it's comedy, bro. Like it comedy, is. it shouldn't have no type of off limits because there's no off limits. Timing, yes, timing is important, but at the same time, once again, there's no off limits. It's no off limits, and bro. it's not directed to a specific group. No, it's everybody get to smoke. Everybody. Every every religion, they don't care. And and I, some of their jokes, bro, be bro, when I, it comes to the, the 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 priests. Oh yeah, bro. They, it's like and it's one of those type of things where it's like I I can't get mad at something. Yeah, he's one, you know, an artist that I, I listen to a lot no, even for before sure. his death. So I'm not gonna get mad at it. I'll be like, ah, oh, damn, that was that was a good one. I'm like, yeah. oh, damn, I can't believe they went there. But I'm not gonna be one of those individuals. But oh, 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 I love Nipsey. How could you? How yeah, could you make yeah, that yeah. that no. heinous joke? Hey, bro, it's it's life. That it, people make heinous, messed up jokes all the time. At the end of the day, like Dub was saying, <clears> shit. <throat> just if you don't like it, all right, cool. But you can't. You I can't, make no big people deal. pick and choose yeah. when to be outraged about, and it'd be like, bro. Okay. That's why I say I can't be fake because it's like I know they've been on. Family Guy been on a on a uh, rogue time for a long. Yeah, just like forever. they started off rogue. Bro. Yeah, so it's kind of tough for me to act mad. Yeah, no, nah, I nah, couldn't. Bro. I couldn't. Like they didn't say nothing, bro. It's, it's just I can't. But they've been saying so much worse. Like mm-hmm. I got jokes in my mind that they just. The said, quagmire like, jokes alone. Oh yeah, <laughs> bro. He had a. It was a high school cheerleader <laughs> tied up in the bathroom. He was like, I think he said, uh, "Thank you, God," or like, "Oh yes. man." I was like, "Dog, really, <laughs> bro?" But once again, this this is what it is, and apparently, it, it's not it's not offending too many people because they still on the show. They've been on the show for how long? Yeah, them South Park. They still have. They I'm still get renewed. On South Park. Oh, yeah. They still get renewed. So clearly, people still care about that type of comedy. And we checked out the races, the black jokes. Mm, but that's nah, when I tell you, if we were some <laughs> soft people, <laughs> dog, the stuff they were saying on there, dog, was like, all right, hold on now. That's but shit was funny. Cause I'm I'm like, that, wait a minute. Some of that shit. Some, some of that shit. I'm like, hold on, y'all some. But I mean, some of that shit got some truth. It did, but you couldn't <laughs> not knock. People, people do pick. Mm-hmm. They choose when they want to get offended. That's why I just be like, I don't let a lot of things fade, especially online, bro. It's it's internet. You can't, bro. You can't. Yeah, it's just um, we have more dope. access to people and their their opinions, and a lot of times they their yeah. their fake outrage seeps through. But a dope, a dope segue um, was, you see the pictures of the Rugrats? Yeah, I've seen some of that today. Yeah. Um, so apparently there was an artist that drew uh, <laughs> yeah. some of the Rugrats, uh, you know, as a grown adult. <laughs> and of course they had Tommy with him and his girl and their child, mm-hmm. Chucky with his wife and their kids or significant other. <laughs> Um, Angelica, I even think as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had Susie on there, but Susie was with her kids with no man. And then there was another one. 
I don't know where somebody it was. corrected it. Yeah, they oh, okay, okay, and okay. They okay. drew not the air quote, but they corrected it and they redrew it with Susie and a husband for a doctor and they two kids because people was that pissed off about. I would have, I would have been like, bro, that's some of that shit. But I wouldn't have been like mad. I just would like, I ain't gonna lie. That's can I be honest? I kind of laughed when I first seen. I, I like, did man. too, bro. <laughs> Everybody else got a happy home. Yeah. This motherfucker, where Susie, the dad at? Just two kids, two kids. a single mom. People in bro. the comments were like, man, he must have ran late or was <laughs> trying to reschedule, or he out getting the money or something. People were saying, but yeah, I kind of laughed the first time. You still out on that milk run, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He went to go get that milk. But yeah, um, but it was funny because people were like, man, Susie actually grew up um in a, a positive household. Her pa- her parents actually had it. And how y'all gonna have her as the only one without a husband or something like that? Y'all could at least gave her a white man or something. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, of course. And they went, they went, they ran. Yeah, I'm just like, really, dude? Is that we got we got that serious over this drawing? Like, yeah, that's how they view us. That's how some of us view us, and mm-hmm. what are we gonna do from that point on to not be looked at in that light? Nothing, <laughs> except talk about it, complain a, about a it. A cartoon drawing, bro. Nah. It wasn't even by the original people. Yeah, it wasn't. So it was just somebody, somebody, somebody random knew, knew what was gonna happen. Of course, yeah, was that so that was clout for them. Yeah, they somebody and we knew. we they threw that out there. You know what they do? They bait you. Just they threw that out there. And really, every here are dumbasses. Yeah. I was seeing so many people post that. Like, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Y'all got me. Like, I thought it was some real shit going on. Nah. So I'm, like, I'm like, I ain't seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, bro, people knew people exactly. His. They, they, they know exactly how to reel you in. That that is is people be upset by the day and then they'll forget oh, about it tomorrow. Forgotten. Yep. What? What, what cartoon? Rugrats. Right. What the fuck is that? I haven't seen that in forever. What they, what they got going on? Here come that other artist. I fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my boy. Okay. I mean, it's, I, I didn't take it that seriously. I, I didn't even take I'm it that seriously. Like, oh, okay. That, that's fucking funny, bro. It's like I know cool. who I am. I don't got to let no picture that somebody draw define me. I know I'm not, you know what I'm saying? They normally say it's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that people was answering to that kind of let them know, like, eh. Well, hurt dogs holler, don't they? Yep, 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 yep. The hurt dogs will holler. They will, you know, they expose that, you know, in the in the community. And it's the worst time because it's tax season. So oh, man. we see in the memes about oh, the, boy. Boy, the people. Just, and, I, don't, I don't know why how people just, they just start acting bougie during tax season, bro. <laughs> It's, you you would think like, bro, hey, you know what I'm saying? You about to get some extra funds. How about we, you know, use it wisely, put save it save a dollar. Put save something, put it towards some, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I, I don't know why black people do this. I don't really hear this from the other side. They just be kind of it's whatever, you know. Even what I'm if saying? they do, we 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 can talk to our community. Cause I don't know what bro, everybody they else be doing. Boys be doing tax season, you know. You know what type of time it is. Oh, yeah. And I'll be like, damn, bro. Like, you can tell niggas start moving a little bit, a little bit different. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just got me that scat pack. Just got, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's all you see, bro. My uh, credit is dog shit. But, you know, I dropped about five bands on it straight cash because you know how we rocking. I'm still like, paying 1800 a month. Bro, I'm like, bro, you could have. <laughs> Bro, you could have used that money for the for the kid. That's all you see is food and paper tax. Yeah, facts, bro. Paper tax, bro. Oh, best believe these clubs, they know. Oh yeah, they are oh, boys. Man. Hey, shit, we popping out tonight. Bah, 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 mm-hmm. boom, hey man, let's bring all the homies. You know what I'm saying? Got my fresh, fresh Christian Dior, Dior. On, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm, man. I'm like, bro, Dior. And then the next month. Nigga, you broke, oak, nigga. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? You sitting there, D broke, trying to figure out how you gonna pay your car note now. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know. I uh, remember I, you know, let you come eat and yeah, I paid for bro. your meal. Yeah, it, it be them type of niggas when and, they, and they then, get down. And then people out here trying to fake having kids just to, you know, get more. I'm like, bro, like this is this is why we keep putting ourselves in these situations because we'll get a quote unquote bone. From from the government or whatever mm-hmm. to only just blow it yeah. on bullshit to be now back in the situation mm-hmm. where you need help from the government. It's 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 just a perpetual cycle of a bullshit. Terrible, bro. Oh, it's terrible. Hey. And you know the crazy thing is, bro, like it it, it, it sucks, man, but I low key think the carnival come around the best time. 
The rodeo? Know. Yeah. Oh. Now, for those who don't know, uh, the rodeo comes around here uh, yeah. in February every year. Um, uh, Houston Livestock Rodeo. Mm-hmm. It's a big, big event. I haven't been. I think I may want to go this year. Uh, I haven't been since I was like a kid. Oh, um, really? Mm-hmm. I haven't been since really? I was like a kid. Yeah. yeah so I've been, I, been every year almost. So I think I may check it out this year. But oh, obviously, you know, it's kind of pricey with food and everything else. Oh, they run they, it up, bro. Oh, niggas be out there, bro. Niggas that don't normally be out, be out. You know, all right, let me take the kids. I ain't going <laughs> to tell you how much I spent last time I went. I'm talking about them lemonade. Bro, we, I got the lemonade. I'm like, hey, nah, y'all finna share this. Because yeah. the kids be wasting food. Like, it ain't even, my cheap side, people can't even talk about that around the rodeo because kids be wasting stuff mm-hmm. not knowing that, bro, it costs for every refill. Yeah. Not including if you need a whole cup. You better make that drink last. <laughs> bro, better for take real. Baby sip. Then they want to eat and want to get on this ride, this ride, this yeah, ride. Nah. It's like, bro, you got to save for that. Yeah. But they know. you know, Yeah, tax season. Oh, boys. You know, then you have sometimes uh, pretty cool artists come by. I yeah, remember yeah, yeah. one year Beyonce was in concert and one year Cardi Probably B. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cardi B was in <laughs> yeah, concert. Yeah, Cardi B, B was out there either last year or the year before. Year before. Yeah, year so before, yeah. It, they'll have like some marquee artists to come by, check out the concert and Bum stuff like B that. Bum B do the uh, takeover. Mm-hmm. So it, it be, it be a cool little, cool <clears> little vibe, but you know, they they know. Oh, niggas got money. Oh, yeah. Let's rack up. And the niggas, niggas, yeah. Y'all yeah. like some turkey legs, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Y'all know y'all do. Some turkey legs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got some purple drink in the back. Yeah. <laughs> purple drink, purple drink, purple drink, turkey. <laughs> got chicken and juice. Chicken and juice. Chicken and we drink. Know y'all think it's like. Chicken and drink. Come on, niggas. <laughs> chicken and drink. It's like they advertise that. Yeah, bro. This way, know. niggas. So I, I just want, I want people, man. Just, you know, if you get a good tax re- uh, return, Use it wisely. That Spread it out, bro. Spread going. it out, man. I'm you, going for that fried cheese. You ain't got to get the scat pack. If, you're, if you're, your car good, make it work. You ain't paying a car note. No, I got to get the scat pack, man. Got to got to stun of these niggas. <laughs> stun on some kids you don't even take care of. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that boy pot. <laughs> that boy pot. He say stun on some kids you, you don't, don't even take, take care of. I mean. You ain't giving them a ride in that. You ain't giving. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they mama got never wrote it. My mama got, they mama got to take care of them, take yeah. them to school. Like, yeah, nah, I can't do that. We, we, we kind of, it's all jokes, but like, it's really, really a, a need, a dire need for our community. Kind of wake up, bro. Jokes, you gotta, you gotta serious. see, you gotta see what's going on around you, bro. You gotta see what's happening when it comes to food. Yeah. That's an important, you know, topic. You know, they putting a lot of stuff in food, man, and people really not focusing or paying attention to it. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going hella up on, Certain items, mm-hmm. eggs, milk, all these basic necessities, it's kind of like you don't really notice it because you ain't going all the time. It's mm-hmm. like I'm one of them people, but you start to see it like, man, mm-hmm. thing of eggs cause what? Yep. Milk cause what? And then you start seeing how that affects you later on, you mm-hmm. know, and it affects where you go because the prices of the places got to go up because they got to now, you know, um, compensate for the, the increase in prices everywhere else. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how they get things in bulk. So if everything is going up, that drives other things to go up. Mm-hmm. And we get to complaining when we go places, but we just need to start waking up, man. Hopefully nah, that's a, a wake up call to us um as a people. Yeah, man. Uh also, I know um I'm sure you've seen this. It's it's been going around the mm-hmm. the fuck around and find out equation, one of the best oh, yeah, equations that's... known to man. It's 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 literally an equation that, you know, I think we all can uh Relate we've seen at some point in our life. Uh, I wanted to bring this up. Simple too. Yeah, very simple. You don't even have to be good at math to mm-hmm. know about it. Mm-hmm. You fuck around, you find out. It's it. great, simple. Shout out to that guy mm-hmm. who uh, 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 brought Created that equation graph. to yeah. to to uh, to the world. Um, but I wanted to talk about this because I saw some on uh, on Twitter, of course, not a real place. Of course. So I saw. It, I'm guessing this is a. Um, it was a. Uh, it's a young woman or whatnot. She uh part of the LGBTQ community or whatnot. And uh she looked like she was at a store, uh, like a little local gas station. I guess she was getting into it with the people that, you know, run the store or whatever behind the cash register and stuff. Okay. So she goes back there or whatever. And I don't know if he says something to her, but they start getting into it. Like she like pushing up on them or whatnot. Mm. And then all of a Physical. sudden. Uh, all of a sudden, they they start proceeds to start giving her the beats, mm. and then one dude has a gun that works there or whatever. So the person filming that, hey man, don't you ain't got to shoot her, you ain't got to shoot her. So he ain't shoot her. He start poking her with the gun and start hitting her with poking the gun. Poking her with the gun. Yeah, 
He started talking yeah. and then started hitting them with the pistol that or whatever. That went off. Yeah, it could have. So, and this is going on for about a good 30 seconds. Damn. They just beating up on her, beating up on her or whatever. And then she's like, all right, I'm done. They still kept beating up on her or whatnot. And here's the thing, because I'm, I'm reading the comments or whatnot. And I, I get what a lot of people were saying. It was like, yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure they ain't, it, it, it didn't have to be a three on one melee brawl. Right. I think she could have got the point with a couple. You know, like, that was hey, a handicap, man. Get, yeah, it really For was. Real. Like, get the hell up out of here. Uh, especially the gun didn't have to be involved. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, <clears throat> I was seeing a lot of she fucked around and, found and, she, and she found out. And the thing is, I, I wanted to talk about this before we got out of here is a lot of you women. Don't think that equation applies to you. I'm going to oh, be yeah. honest with you. The fuck around and find out it's rated E for everyone. This is not, it's Everybody. not just, it's not just one race. It's not just one sex, gender, none of that. You fuck around, you find out it's for everybody. And I think I've been seeing a lot more clips of women getting into it with men, putting their hands on men. And I don't agree with men, you know, fighting women. But I've been seeing a lot more clips of men saying, fuck it, and just saying. <laughs> Bro, it was one clip where a lady swung and swung a bowling ball on the dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, and knocked the dude out. And then women was actually commenting like, yeah, that's what he did. Because and, and and for bucking up to a woman like that, he was in her face or whatever. And they, he ain't never put a hand on her. But once again... Once again, bro, I, I want you guys... She could have killed that dude. She could have. And I want y'all to understand, I don't condone violence of any sort, but I also need my ladies to know, you put your hands on a man, one or two things will happen. Either they'll have a lot of self-restraint and they'll just walk away from the situation, which is rare that it happens, or Facts. you're going to fuck around and find out. Yeah, no, for sure. And that's definitely not one of them things you want to find out. No. Because you never know what kind of mood he in. Mm -hmm. You don't know how crazy he is. You don't mm -hmm. know like, what... What other shit he done been through now? He finna take out everything out on you. And once again, don't condone it. But it's like, bro, you keep your hands. That's what I want the ladies to understand. Keep Unless you're trying to defend yourself, and it's a situation where you're trying to defend yourself from a man, That's keep different. your hands to yourself. But all, not all dudes got the same morale. Like, we oh, like, no. Like, like, some dudes is different. They no. Y'all seeing, uh, yeah, we see him on Law and & Order and CSI. And, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dudes be out here having a barbecue. Mm-hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and it's one of those things I was thinking to myself, like just in like just in a generalized uh state, like, shit, how would I feel, you know what I'm saying, if so if a lady came up to me on some type of time and trying to hit me, would I, you know what I'm saying, have that same type of restraint That's depending on the situation? And I'm gonna be honest with you, if I feel like my life is straightened, bro, you about to find out. <laughs> Not my life is <laughs> No, I'm I'm bro, bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm serious, bro. There was a, a a recent story of a chick. She fucking stabbed. Uh, I think she stabbed someone. I think he was an ex or whatever. They may he was found out she he was cheating or something like that. But she stabbed a nigga to death, dead. So I look. Man, you, ain't, you ain't getting no weapon on him. Once I'm 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 very serious when it come to that, bro. Like once, once you pull out a weapon, it's all game. It's fair game now. Yeah, like you know. I don't care who you are. There's you only are. so much walking away I can do because a lot of times, if you've seen in some of these videos, people guy may walk away and the woman's very persistent on getting her point across. And we can't lie, women cut deep. Yeah. I mean they know how to say certain things. Of that's, course. That's always been their forte. Say the most cruel shit about you that you didn't told in your deepest moments that you ain't really and she didn't use that for, you know, evil now. Mm -hmm. Now you react. And, and yeah, it's 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 words can cut deep, you know. But no, I'm still do. one of those people that are like, hey, bro, she don't that touch you, she don't touch you, just fuck it, bro. It's it's words at the end of the day. But once once them hands start getting getting free, hey, man, look, bro, I'm, this is what's gonna go down. All right. <laughs> you, you're testing the equation out. You, <laughs> my knuckles is about to connect <laughs> with a jaw in here. Hey, bro, I, and it sucks. Like, it ain't it, it, it sucks that this has to be a thing, but it's like. Like, I, I see it so many times, that debate of, you know, women wanting to be equal in comparison to men. Well, don't put your hand on men. That's, that's it's, if we don't put our hands on each other, we, all good. Right, we good. You can talk all the shit you want, but don't put your hands on me. Some dudes don't even want you to talk shit. And this is true, and that's, that's for niggas that can't really 
handle words Thanks and shit to, like yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah. That's that's a different situation and for a different conversation. But when it comes to just straight up, hey, I feel some type of way. I'm gonna hit you first, and you better mm-hmm. not do nothing to me, bro. That that time period. I'm gonna be honest with you. That shit is. It's fading away, and it looks like it's fading away fast because I see the stuff damn near every day of a chick either, you know what I'm saying, hitting the guy, and then all of a sudden you see a Kirkpatrick a fist come out of nowhere. And then I've seen some videos where, you know what I'm saying, men are doing a little bit too much, bro. Like, I, I, don't, I don't condone the men sitting up here and, like, you know, like literally trying to lay a chick out. That shit, I don't, I don't rock with. Bro. Women are making it to the point to where now where like do is it's a lot of um online like going back and forth about like what you were saying about the equality thing mm-hmm. and they're starting to you know cheer on certain women as dogging dudes mm-hmm. and this whole equality thing is starting to make dudes say okay you want to be equal all right so I think. Mm-hmm. In a weird way, I know social media not real, but a lot of people subscribe to it and they get influenced by it. And a lot of dudes now are starting to kind of come off of that chivalry horse. Like mm-hmm. a woman should be this and this and that. They starting to really compare y'all. It's like, okay, you want to be an equal? You make more money than me. You this, this, and this. You talk down on me all day. Let me give you something to be equal about. And mm-hmm. it's it's really starting to kind of go that way. Not, I don't, I don't agree with that. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with that at all. I do feel like a person that feel like you should restrain yourself no matter what, try to of walk course. away. But I'm also a person that's not going to be fake. If you hit me hard enough, I can't tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, if you if you just get me hard enough, women hit. And the thing is, the scariest thing about high, fighting a female is they they don't throw control punches. Nah. So it's not even nothing you can just necessarily block with the yeah. regular they coming this way. They coming this way. Scratching you up. All yeah. Of so stuff. it's like all they, they they don't have a cold when they fight. Some of them. A lot of them actually. So when you think about just getting bopped like in your chin or in your nose, when you know one of the pressure points. At that point, I might kind of freeze out for three seconds and forget who the morale me is and just fuck around. Found out. Now I'm in find out mode. You in find now out I mode. Gotta, now I got to show you, Mo, because it's like, and I'll never condone nothing like that. Of course. I, you know, but I'm just speaking. That's why you keep your hands to yourself. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because you just in both parties, man, both I never parties. respect men who put their hands on women, uh, period. But let alone, especially to a woman who's just talking to you or a woman that don't want to be with you or the woman that yeah. you found out did something to you, yeah, like yeah, cheated yeah. on you. Bro, move around. Just mm-hmm. you a man. Like, we know our strength, and we know we're stronger than women. It's nothing we got to compare. I don't care how much women try to argue about that. That's fine. That's just like arguing well, other actually, subjects. All right, bro. That's arguing other subjects that yeah. we know the real truth about. Yeah. It's sometimes you just got to let people think what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature's yeah. going to show people what reality is eventually. You know what I'm saying? But, and then on the dudes real quick, because, you know, we're about to get out of here. But on, mm-hmm. on the men, I don't like how men now are just really going in on women on oh. social media. Like, yeah, it's, it give me yeah. real B-word vibes. They going in in. Like dudes be on there. Like I be seeing, and I now I go through and I look look through comments of other because now I'm in this little mode where I'm trying to study mm-hmm. how other people think. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like I'm trying to get out of my own way of just my way of thinking. Yeah. I've always done that. I try to, I'm interested in like, okay, well, why do you think like that? Mm-hmm. Why do you think this is okay? So when on certain posts now, I'll go through and I'll just read the comments. Bro, what I'm seeing by dudes. I'm just amazed. I'm like, bro, these are real. And I go to their pro. These are grown ass men on here arguing with females. Oh, that purse don't match them shoes. <laughs> what? Now, I thought you was talking about in, in relation to like. Oh, uh, no, uh, that's, that's just the beginning. Like, I uh, ain't even on that part yet. But I'm just saying like, it'll be, it'll start there. And I'll be like, bro, this nigga didn't. This nigga didn't just say, look at her, her feet. <laughs> she wear a 10 Damn you got a big foot Yeah I'm nah, like yeah. yeah that sounds about right bro And y'all really go in Y'all go in Like What happened if you ain't got Nothing nice to say Don't say nothing at all But as a man We was never really in that We let women normally Kind of get in that bag Where they mm-hmm. Judging styles And all this other stuff now, Bro you got more dudes now Than a lot of people Know mm-hmm. Going back and forth From women on On little shit yeah. Oh, why she put that eyeliner on? I'm like, what the hell is going on here? 
Hey, bro. And then they do go back and forth. I mean, the whole thing about the income and the money. I know some dudes be butt, and that that be dudes that be ass hurt. Yeah. When when it, when it hit, you you be mad, and I get it. Mm-hmm. But it's like a lot of things. I just keep scrolling, yeah. or I unfollow it, or see less. Don't they got that option where you can see mm-hmm. less of this? Bro, I'm like, I ain't trying to see this shit on my timeline. Mm-hmm. Oh, men don't. Uh, what is it? What's that quote? The famous quote: um, "Black men don't care about black women or some shit or protect." Mm-hmm. Bro, every time I see that, I just yeah, we'll just scroll I past. Unfollow, it. see less, or just scroll. Yeah, because you know if you, you don't have to subscribe to something that you know is you know you bullshit, don't. so it's like well, all right, whatever. Because after that shit, it's just to spark up the conversation, enrage get, you. Yeah, to get the the back and forth, to get the engagements up, and know? they get you going. Yeah, black men need to protect black women. Y'all don't care about us. Yeah, Woo-thee-woo. as soon as it's I like, see it, I just be like. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, just keep going, bro. I keep like, going, bro. You, I don't agree with that. You statement. still gonna smack fucks with a black man? So what are we talking about? <laughs> and I, I always say the niggas you fuck with don't. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Don't put that on everybody. Stop comparing everybody to to uh, Tori and Meg and yeah, all these nah. situations, bro. Them that y'all not celebrities. Even about no more. We don't even know. Don't. But we don't even know these people personally. Yeah. Everybody had an opinion on it. I was able to hear other people's side and all that. Okay, cool. Rock with it. Let's move on. We still got our own lives to live at the end of the mm-hmm. day. That, that case didn't pay my bills. Nope. So I'll never befriend somebody because they think something different than what I think, which is what a lot of ignorant people was doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can't be my friend if you think. Oh, okay. you can't. Okay, cool. All right, whatever. I mean, you, I mean, you know what? You served your time. Yep, you that served your time. Your time. <laughs> if you think a nigga like me care that, that you be, oh, we can't be friends. Oh, brother. Appreciate you. <laughs> trying to shorten my list anyway. It was too facts, many people facts. trying to figure out how I was going to get these people off my list. Facts. And you just helped me figure that out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, at the end of the day, bro, you got to live for you. Don't mm-hmm. worry about what nobody else saying. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Just keep moving forward. And always remember, you gonna, sometimes you got to be careful about fucking around. And finding out. Because it's for everyone. So yeah. Be careful out there, please, y'all. E. It's rated E, e for everyone. You feel me? Bro. But yeah, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast, man. Show, Episode show. 88 in the mm-hmm. building. You know what I'm saying? Uh make sure y'all run up them like, subscribe, listen to the podcast everywhere that you can, man. Keep show, on supporting show. this. Uh again, shout out to the homie Steve, man. Hope you're feeling better. Mm-hmm. Definitely having uh sending prayers out to him as well. But uh yeah, just keep on. Showing us that y'all loving these pods, these mm-hmm. topics, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Go ahead and let us know what else y'all want to see us or hear us talk about. Uh, and yeah, we'll definitely try to make sure we um, consider it next time. You know, next sure. recording. So see y'all in the next one, man. Lay y'all. Peace out. All right.